Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So today, well, not today, but like yesterday, this video hit uh, 15 likes, and as I promised, I'm going to show you how to use your Logitech wheel um, on Greenville. So let's get straight into it. Alright, so uh, first of all, well, look how I parked my truck right here. It looks like if it was carrying the trailer, it looks nice, but um, anyways. So yeah, first of all, this will only work if you have either a Logitech G29, uh, Logitech G920, or G923 because um, it's the only wheels that are detected. Well, as, as far as I know, that I that are detected by the Logitech G Hub. So um, yes, you will need that. And um, so first of all, so first of all, you will search for x360 ce or uh, xbox 360 controller emulator controller emulator like this and um, this will appear you will click on the page that it's um, www.x360ce.com and you will well Wait for it to load up because yeah, um, not so worried Wi-Fi. And, uh, yeah, so you will download the 32 bits game. Uh, so um, you'll click on it, and um, here it is downloaded. And um, yeah, so you will open it. Um, yeah, open it, and um, so I don't know. If it's showing, if not, I will put in a screenshot. But um, yeah, so you will click on the x360ce uh, under slash x86.exe, uh, so it downloads. And um, yeah, let me get into the app to show to you guys. Then this new device detected um, sort of app will pop up again. This is on full screen because I'm. I can record uh, the whole screen of the computer. So yeah, um, you will put on um, browse my computer for settings and do on um, next. Once um, it finishes browsing, you will click on finish. So as you can see here, it already has some uh, commands. Well. If I press the pedals, not the work. Only if I turn the wheel, that will work. Um, yeah, I'm pressing random buttons, as you can see. Well, the X, square, triangle, and zero. I'll configure it for the X, Y, B, and A. Paddle shifters are bumpers. Um, yeah, not really configured for Rebel. First of all, you will start putting everything on blank. I don't know if you can hear the annoying window sound. If so, please ignore it. Um, yeah, uh, you will empty everything. Once you do that, I'll show you the basic settings for Greenville. Alright, so since it's everything, everything is emptied, um, I turn the wheel, and the it doesn't detect. It. So for the right trigger, you will press on record, and you will press your far far right pedal, um, right there. You can see I uh, press it. Uh, for the left trigger, you will press record, and you will press your middle pedal. Like that you can see that's the brakes uh, for the bumper uh, I think it's the right one you will press record and you will press your far left pedal like that and it will show slightly then for the steering you will go here to stick axis X you will press record like that you can see um, for some reason it's not doing what I want to so you will press again record and um, right there, there it is as you can see 
I turn the steering wheel and that turns as well. Okay. Yeah, so um then for well that's pretty much everything you need for green bill. Well actually not you still need for the X and Y button. For the Y button you will press your right uh, paddle shifter. For the X you will press the left one. Yeah. Uh, for B button you will press record and the circle or B in case you have the Xbox version. And for A you will press X or A if you have the Xbox version. And that's pretty much everything. And you need but I'm here I'll show you my settings all right so those were the personal settings I use uh, in my case well I'll leave you a Google Drive link so you can copy them uh, yeah so after uh, you're done uh, with, with this uh, you can Set everything else as as ever you want. Um, they are not needed. What I'm yet. So you will go to controller set. Uh, actually, game settings. You will check everything uh, but name. Name you want. You uncheck it if it is uh, checked uh, on 32 bit. Not 64. Uh, 32 bit. After you're done with that, go back to controller one. Click on save. And yeah, you will close this. So once you're in the Roblox folder, you will go to the versions uh, folder, and then click on the version you have. And a lot of things will appear, uh, such as shaders, uh, content, uh, etc. There you will paint them. And uh, as of that now, you can close the folder and everything uh, so now we will get into roblox all right we are entering to roblox and um if you turn the wheel and that little uh circle shows up means you did it correct and it will work uh, as you can see here i press the pedal again everything like that uh, this is with the simple uh tracking but yes um once it looks uh geez that's that's loud, let me turn the volume down. Hello. Yeah, so uh, since we didn't configure it for you to be able to walk, you will walk with your keyboard. Um, let's spawn a car, the Miata, like that. Uh, yeah, so we'll press E to drive or, or click on that. Uh, if you press your right pedal shifter, it will go there. You will put it on. D and since I have it, uh, well, first of all, there is no button for startup, so you will have to with, with the keyboard or the mouse. If you, you can see, I press the brake, the brake uh, light turns on, press the clutch, it does nothing because it's an auto mode, and yeah, I press accelerate and it goes. I turn the wheel and it turns. So if we go to first person, person, you can see that Greenville only simulates. Uh, six, 630 degrees. Um, we will correct that in a second. But yeah, as you can see, you can drive. Uh, it will be hard because it's not uh, configured yet. But yes, um, you have nothing else than the accelerator, brake, and steer. So yes, if you put it on manual mode, you can see how I can be shifting like that. Uh, well, in semi-automatic, and then here it's manual. If I only shift without the clutch, it would do nothing, but if I press clutch and shift, it will. Alright, so let me show you how to configure the wheel. Alright, to calibrate it, well, first of all, you need Logitech G-Hub. If you don't have it, just search on the web for G Logitech G-Hub. And, um, it will appear, you download it, and everything. So you need to plug in your wheel and make sure it's detected. Like this. Uh, if you, you can see if I turn the wheel, it turns. If I go to the pedals, it works fine, as you can see. So here, you will put sensitivity on 100. Uh, 
turning radius to 6 seri and intensity centering intensity on seri and you will check this uh, of centering system in games without force feedback uh, yeah so now if you can see my wheel will only turn as much as the grid wheel will does so then it will be easier for it and since it's on 100 I turn the wheel only 90 degrees and it's like if I had turned it uh, 160 degrees so yeah pretty pretty nice and uh, for the pedals they can stay the same they don't affect that much so yeah let's go back to grid alright so here we have a uh, double and uh, he wanted to say something. Um, so, Dago, what did you want to say? Hello, everyone. So, here, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, yeah. Hello. Um, uh, want to say anything else? Yeah. Be sure to subscribe since it helps me make more content. Uh, yes, subscribe to me. All right, back to the video. And, um, yeah, so there we go. Um, that was at his message, and uh, I rejoined to use my personal settings. So yeah, um, to finish the video, I'll do a drag race with him. All right, so here we are. Um, we will drag race in this S2000. Um, Let's go to oh, like that. Um, yes. Yeah, so um, let's turn on the car, and there we go. Traction control off. Um, so, uh, three hunts and we will also, uh, here we go. Uh, I'm waiting at the moment, um, I get sketchy right here. Uh, it's really a bit difficult to check my work Yeah, uh, so for that, yeah. Crash me. Uh, uh, we won. We won fair and square. So um, congrats, Dogo. Um, you are a better driver, I guess, and you are along mobile. So yes, um, that was everything for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If so, please leave a like and subscribe so that I can get you all better content. I'm Raul, and I am out. Oh, and yes, perfect parking.